First trip to Tennessee on the Tennessee River, the Nickerjack specifically, out here with Joe from Chat Cats. What up? And we got Leo from Extreme Philly Fishing. What's up, fellas? We're gonna be fishing for some giant blue cats today. It's gonna be epic. Gearing up right here. And Joe's cutting up. What are you cutting up here, man? This is skipjack. It's what you caught yesterday. Yeah, we caught some of these yesterday, and uh, yeah, I didn't think I made a video. I'll go ahead and show you the clips right here. Oh, you got one? Nice. Oh, <laughs> First fish oh. of the day. Joe hooks up. Oh, it's a nice skipjack. That's a beautiful one. At the oh, dam. Awesome. Right on. Just put him in here. Close uh, to my night crawlers. And what's the nickname for that bait or uh, for that they fish? Call them Tennessee tarpons. Tennessee tarpons. You can that, see how he was kind of that's awesome. Out of the water yeah, and it is a nice size. So just right on that. Nice right job, man. Current seam there and yeah. Oh. There's one. Oh, hit it, hit it hard. Oh, oh, it came back. Yeah, got him, got him, got him. There we go. You got one too? That got a fish on, dude. Oh, dude. Oh, he's jumping. I got your line. Oh, we got him. We got him. We got him. Nice. All right, guys. Mike has his first skip check. Twilight hour. That's right, man. I'm telling you. Dude, these things fight hard. Just keep reeling if you can. Poor man's tarping. Yep. They move, though, man. They do. Oh, I snagged it. Oh, I snagged another fish. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I can't straight hook a fish. <laughs> oh, there it goes. Well, another one going in the bait bucket. Awesome, man. We're just going to be using chunks. Unfortunately, my knife is pretty dull, but oh well. Still does the job. These are some pretty good chunks for these uh, blue cats. Yeah. And uh, what size range uh, might you expect we're going to catch uh, today? You can catch really. You know, maybe from 10 pounds all the way up to 100 if they... Wow, if 10 100. to 100. Yeah, so these are, these are decent sized chunks. So I'm really hoping uh, we can get to, we can really get into uh, some hot action here. Nice. Bait one going out there. You used a pretty heavy gear. You said you got 50 pound main 50 line. 50 pound monofilament line with an 80 pound... Uh, Line. Awesome. Team Catfish, ADOT, double action circle hook All right. to a uh, five ounce disc sinker, uh, which is on a Team Catfish uh, sliding sinker. So, how the bites they usually take it and the rod just doubles over? Oh gosh, yeah. yeah. And then sometimes it'll just pull drag in the rod holder. Did that left one just move? It, it was moving, it had a couple taps on it. So, it could just be channel cats nibbling oh, at it. Oh. Yeah, it's nibbling at it. Oh, hold on a second. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, looks like that line just went a little slack. It did. Down, but, yeah. Uh, oh, all right. If it's a big one, that's it. The big thing is really just, I really, I mean, I know I can't, I can't control the canoes, but I really wish we just had like about oh, 10 more thousand. Uh, oh, current. Fast, yeah. So really make things a little bit better for the anchor bite. Oh, Whoa, oh, that's go, going go, down. Go, 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 go get go, go, it. Go, 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 get it out. Woo! Real, real, real. Yeah. Right, we got one on. Oh, okay. oh yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah. Dude. Oh, yeah. Dude, that was quick. That was like five minutes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You found the spot. Yeah. Good job, man. Take your time. Take your Take time. Your time. Take your time, man. Blue cat on here, guys. How did you feel? Oh, we're fishing. <laughs> Man, that was incredibly fast. I can't believe how quick that bite was. How does he feel? It feels pretty big to me, man. Yeah, don't horse him too hard. Gotcha. Though. Keep pressure on it, but don't yeah. horse him. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is a nice one. First one. Here, Using that skipjack we caught. I need you to hold this. <sighs> I got it. Oh, nice. Keep him away from the motor if you can. Okay, away from the motor. Oh, yeah. Land. Oh, got, a... got him. Chat cat's coming through. That's right, man. Nice job. Nice. That is incredibly. We caught, what is it, like a 25 pounder? Uh, he'll probably go 25. 25 pound catfish in five minutes. That is incredible. Man. All right. The team, circle here, hook. Let me get the, all right, guys. Team catfish circle hook right in the corner of the mouth. Circle hook doing its job. That is a beautiful hook set. 
Guys, if you like catfishing, check out this man's channel, Chat Cats. He is catching giants. And what's your PB catfish, man? Uh, PB is 90 pounds. 90 pound blue cat. Yeah, good teamwork, man. Oh, <laughs> she is feisty. All right, let's get a weight on her. This thing weighs exactly 25 and a half yeah. pounds right there. Nice job. We'll nice go ahead job. and let her go. Yeah. All right. So. Oh, okay, there oh, she goes. Feisty. I was gonna get like this is this might be I think this might be my biggest freshwater fish ever. Really? 25 pounds. Oh, yeah. Wow, that's awesome. Maybe a, maybe a carp I snag might be slightly bigger, but this thing definitely put up a big fight. We'll go ahead and let her go now. She's thrashing. See you later. Thanks for the fight. Oh, Ooh. little splash of sail. Dude, thanks. For that. that was that was awesome. There you go. All right. Awesome. So we're gonna talk about the conditions that we're fishing over here on the map. Yeah, we're kind of fishing. A, let me see if I can zoom out a little bit so you can kind of see it from a better, better view. But um, we call this the Rivermont Hole, and it's kind of like a hole right near the the shore there. We're kind of anchored a little bit on top of the hole on the right side of it. So I have my baits kind of casting down a hump. Uh, we're anchored in about 18 feet of water. So unfortunately we have low current right now so it's not the greatest to be anchor fishing but and the current's what eight nine thousand eh, it's like nine thousand right now cubic feet per second which is not ideal for anchor fishing and usually like what twenty thousand yeah i think i mean really this hole gets really good in thirty five thousand to forty five thousand but it's not to say that Ended up about 12 feet of water right there yeah, about 12 feet of water so i think the catfish are hanging on the edge of the river channel right now uh looking for some food so i figured that may be a uh good chance and it hey you nailed it man <laughs> oh that's so sad dude. all right guys we're out here at the bridge pilings fishing for catfish i'm throwing this reaction innovations swim bait right here just landed this chunky two and a quarter about two and a quarter pound of smallie beautiful fish first bass of tennessee dude, sorry you guys missed that easy, but man. go ahead and let her go see ya yeah fish man good job thank you thank yeah. you I'm using a Reaction Innovation Skinny Dipper and I just missed a bite on something, lost the tail, don't know what it was, but uh, how I'm fishing it, fishing around these bridge pilings in about 14 feet of water or so, making a long cast across the current, just really slow and steady along the bottom, bumping in the rocks, and uh, that Somali was hanging right around there, probably eating crayfish. We'll see if we can uh, get some more sometime. At Chukamaga Dam, heading in there, we're going to be doing something very interesting today. What we're going to be using for bait is we're going to be using chicken breast from the store right here. Some nice chicken breast. Looks pretty good. Might have to make some sandwiches out of it. We're going to be using it for catfish, blue catfish, channel catfish. Going to drift it. It's going to be pretty interesting. Chat Cats is showing us the technique right here. Drifting chicken breast for catfish. I've never heard of it. He's caught tons of fish on it. We're going to see how well it works. Let's rig up the chicken. We've got some uh, fast current here. I wonder if this is gonna, how well this works. Let's find out. There's one. Oh no, I missed it. Did you get a bite? Yep. Oh, you, man? Right. Bite already on the chicken breast. Woo! Secret catfish bait. Oh, you come. Got him. I got him. Fish nice. on. Fish on. Woo! Nice. Came back for nice. it. It's pretty good fish. Or maybe because this is like gear. Yeah, like here. Like here. <laughs> like here. Is that catfish? Yeah, it's a little catfish. <laughs> nice on the chicken breast. Little, little channel. Little channel catfish. Number one. Didn't take long. Woo. Almost oh, still falling here. That's for sure. Let him go. There. Nice. What's another nice. one. This is all, literally two seconds after I cast it out. It's a little baby. The little baby. This action is non stop though. Several eaters. Still got the chicken. I still got my chicken. Yep. Nice. We gotta get through the eaters though, guys, and try to find the big ones. Find the big ones if we can. Yep. Which I know they're around here somewhere. Can you give me a favor? Yeah, we'll do it. Can you give me the 20 pound monofilament line that will do the. Bait's still good. Catfish bite died down. We're mixing things up, fishing with live shiners. We're behind this wind wall right now, away from the wind, away from the current. Gonna go for some bass. Had a great day already. Caught my PB catfish. Guys, stay tuned. Look forward for a video in two days. See what we catch.